Hi, so we're going to go ahead and we're an Autodesk Inventor. We're going to go ahead and create a new part. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and do a start 2D sketch. Um, and in this video, we are going to take a look at creating a loft, okay? And, and loft is a little bit, can be a little bit tricky for people to start out with. But we have our sketch one here. We're going to be creating three sketches on, uh, on three different planes, if that makes any sense. So our first one is going to be a rectangle. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pull it out. We're going to make it uh, three inches by two inches. Zoom all, click, move my mouse, click again. Two inches, zoom all. Okay, so I have my first sketch done. I'm going to go ahead and click finish sketch. All right, now, if I look at this from the side, um, what I need to do is I need another sketch just above it in 3D space, okay? So I'm on this y-axis, so I need another sketch up here. Now, the problem is that I can't create just a sketch anywhere, okay? I needed to have the sketch sit on something, which is where this work plane comes in, okay? So if I go down here, in, in uh, 2017, you have to specify that you want one that's offset from a plane, okay? You have to specify the type of work plane that you want. Uh, this is a change from earlier versions. So go ahead and click Offset Plane. Okay, and now we're going to click inside the origin. Notice how that parallelogram is on the my mouse pointer right there. So we're going to open up Origin. We're going to click on XY Plane. Notice that we can't see anything. So there's the YZ Plane. We see the whole thing, right? It's straight on. XY plane, we see it's, it's perpendicular. We need the YZ plane, okay? We're gonna click it, and then we're just gonna drag it up. Now, in this case, we don't really, you know, this is just for demonstration, so let's just go ahead and make it an inch higher, right? Okay, so there's our there's our plane. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take a, and create a, um, a sketch on there. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and create a, um, a circle. We're going to mention that circle to be uh, 2.5 inches. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and drag that circle there to just about, whoops, we're going to click OK to get out of the dimensioning tool. We're going to drag the center of that circle just about in the middle. Okay. All right. Now we're going to right click and finish 2D sketch. So now you can see that we have this kind of sandwich occurring, right? Now let's say I want to go ahead and drag this uh, plane up. I can go ahead and grab the corners of that work plane. Um, unfortunately, my sketch won't come with me. So, <laughs> okay. So I was just trying to drag this, and notice when I dragged it my sketch didn't come with me and why is that right so it looks like I just moved it up in fact what I did is I dragged it off into the distance so notice when I did that I just moved it back um, so what what is a better way to do it if I control Z and get it back I can double click it in the browser and actually change and there I can change the offset so I can just change it to one inch oops and click the green check and now it's now it's correct right so now we have two Okay, so now we need another work plane, right? That's going to be offset. Uh, we need to choose the same exact one. This time we're going to go up to two inches. Okay, so there we have two inches. We're going to put a uh, 2D sketch on the top of it. All right, and this time we're going to make this just a very small circle in the middle, okay? Uh, and a little bit off to the side just, to, just for effect here. We're going to right click OK and finish sketch so we're ready to do our loft okay so we're going to go ahead and click the loft button and now we're just going to add areas to it so see how we're going to click to add right here just going to go ahead and add click to add again click to add again so notice that we get this kind of nice preview once we're done with all of our shapes we click ok and we can go over and right click on our uh, work planes and unclick the visibility and we get kind of our finished shape there. Okay, in this case, it's kind of a wacky looking shape, but you get the point. So essentially loft is creating a 3D object that moves through a number of different uh, 2D shapes. Great, uh, have fun working with the loft tool.